We're here at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome as it's about to play host for this matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. We're live here tonight for this primetime matchup. There's all kinds of energy and excitement in the air as these teams are ready to take center stage. How about it, Phil? Oh, man, it's going to be a lot of people watching this game tonight. The old bad eye is on you. So, in other words, we're going to focus in on these players. It's going to be fun to watch. And when they all know that all these people are watching, that brings out the emotion. Should be hard hitting. Should be a lot of fun to watch. New Orleans Saints, Atlanta Falcons. I think everybody across the country, what's the first thing you think about when you, you say these two football teams? Quarterbacks, the two quarterbacks. The team is built around their talent. They give them all the chances uh, you can to let them have success. And you know what? They take advantage of it. I think this is one of the really kind of underrated rivalries in the NFL. Had a chance to do this game a number of times years ago. And there really has always been a lot going on between these two cities and these two franchises. Well, Jim, for so many years, I think they both knew whoever won the, the clashes between the two of them was going to win the NFC South. And anytime you win a division, look out. Your chances of, of having great success and maybe winning playoff games and going to Super Bowl, they're there. That's why this game is so important to both. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. Here's the former Boston College quarterback, Matt Ryan. Size is a talent when you talk about quarterbacks in this league, and Matt Ryan every bit of six foot five, and he plays tall, stands tall. One of the reasons why he has success. Play action fake, looking to throw. Number two throws incomplete. Two tight ends on the field here. Second and ten. Trying to work that left side. That'll stop the play right there. As you take a look at the Falcons offense, you have to take note of Michael Turner coming at you. That's a big man. You're going to see him when he gets the football because he can block out the sun. Runs with tremendous power, good inside, and still has those quick little feet. All set to punt here. Darren Sproles will return it. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. Here comes the former Super Bowl MVP for the New Orleans Saints, quarterback Drew Brees. Drew Brees, even though he's six foot one, he plays so much taller. Look at him. He has long arms, big hands, stands very tall when he throws the football. Right, one of the Nine. reasons why he is spectacular when it comes to throwing the football from the pocket. Play clock's Three, running down. Seven. He'll run it. Here's the handoff. When you look at the Saints lineup, you got to look at tight end. Jimmy Graham, a player to watch. Jimmy Graham's covered. Remember, he's not covered. He's open. Throw it to him no matter what. The guy can maneuver his size, his hands. He has all that you need. He can make the catch in a lot of tough situations. Here we go. Here Good we go. job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive right, side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. The wide receiver in motion. Second down five. They'll run it off the toss. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. First and ten. Staying on the ground. And Sean Weatherspoon makes the hit. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. 
The Saints getting set for the field goal. The kick is good. That's the end of the first half. And we'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis. We're back here now in this one, where the Saints lead by three. Phil, how about a little first-half analysis? Here we are at halftime. It's low scoring. Uh, it's going to be hard to punch that football in there and get those touchdowns. So you got to know that. you got to be careful with the football, not turn it over, and just see if you can win a close game here in the second half. The quarterback has his team's attention here. The defense comes out of the nickel. Here we go. Got it. Now first and ten. Sproles. He'll try to navigate through the middle of the line. Second down coming up. Here we go. Got it. The quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mike 50. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. Here we go. Second down and nine. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's knocked out of bounds. Here we go. The quarterback's calling something out. First down here. 11. Here we go, Mike 50. Here we go. Looking to go up top again on first down. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Mike 50, Mike 50. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. They motion the receiver around to the other side. First and 10. Darren Sproles takes the football. Picks up about two. 43 with the carry. Gain of two. Here we go. The quarterback mixing things Over. up at the line of scrimmage. the shotgun looks to his left and the throw and is incomplete the intended receiver third down here we go there's the quarterback barking out new signals here we go, here we go. Third and eight, looking for an open receiver on the right. Shove to the sideline. This is what drives coaches crazy. You make the quarterback throw it short, then you can't come up and make the tackle, and you give up the long game. you got your players in position. That's all you can do. Now it's up to them to make a play. Here we go. Here we go. Play number six coming up on this drive. Here we go. 
He sends the halfback in motion. 15 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. We're back here in this low-scoring affair. Play number six coming up on this drive. The quarterback has his team's attention here. Halfback sent in motion. First down and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Well, it's another first down for the offense, and I'll tell you who the happiest guys are here in this stadium right now. It's the defensive players sitting over on the sideline, getting a drink of water, having a little oxygen, the fan blowing on them. It's nice this time of day to be a defender. First and 10. The quarterback throws to the right. Thrown incomplete. This will be the eighth play of this drive. The running back goes in motion. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Out of the gun. Trying to work the middle of the field. Ball is batted down. Well, they keep giving him this much time to throw. Sooner or later, he is going to find an open guy and complete a pass. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Here we go. Here we go. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Got it. Here we go, Mike. Here we go. Here we go. Third and ten. Looking across the middle. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. When you play man-to-man -man coverage, it takes a good throw and catch. That time, neither was there. Another incomplete pass. Casey with the field goal attempt. The kick is good. The points on the board may, in fact, seal this victory. Oh, I think it did seal the victory, Jim. What a day for this football team. What a day by the offense. Every time they happened, had the opportunity, they came through. They got it done. Man, you feel good after games like this. He'll kneel here. No reason to try his luck on the return. So the offense off the touchback will begin at the 20. The Falcons come onto the field for their next series. Just about a minute left. It would take a miracle to pull this one out. Now first and ten. Here's the give to Michael Turner. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Wasting little time. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Look at that. The defensive line, now they're all spreading out. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays, but we've come to an end, and what a game it was. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recover, giving you the protein you need to rebuild your muscles. You are a quarterback. You like to put up points, but when you got to win in a low-scoring game, how did it feel? Felt great. Because when you're the quarterback of the NFL team, it's just like being the head coach. When it's over, everybody wants to know what you do. Did you win or you, did you lose? Well, today we won a low scoring one, but it still felt great. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.